Hello everybody and welcome to Discover Children's Story Centre. My name is Rob Bidolf, I am a children's author and illustrator and the exhibition that's currently on here at the centre is a Rob Bidolf themed exhibition and it's called The 100 Story Hotel. I think you're going to really like it. I'm super, super proud of it. And I know you are going to have a really fun day visiting. Now, while you were waiting, I thought it might be a good idea to show you how to draw one of the characters that you will find inside the hotel today. Right now, I thought it would be a good idea to show you how I draw the hotel's concierge. Now, the concierge is the person who usually stands at the front desk of the hotel and they are there to help the guests with anything they need, whether that's, I don't know, booking theatre tickets, making dinner reservations, offering suggestions for events that they might want to go to, arranging transportation, helping with something that's gone wrong with their rooms. They're basically there to help the guests, okay? And the concierge at the 100 Story Hotel just happens to be a polar bear called Clive. Of course it does. So I'm gonna show you how to draw Clive the Polar Bear Concierge right now. Just in case you've never watched a Draw With Rob video before, this is how they work. Lots of people tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing. I say, do you know what? I think everybody can draw. Some people just need a little bit of help with the order that we do the drawing in. That's where I come in, you see. Because what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna break this drawing of Clive the Concierge down into little bite-sized pieces, right? So I'm gonna draw a little shape here then I will pause for a minute and you can copy what I do. Then I will draw a bit more. Then I will pause and you draw. Then I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And by the end, we're all going to end up with a drawing of Clive that we are really proud of. Okay, so you're going to need a piece of paper. You're going to need something to draw with, a pen or a pencil. Maybe something to colour with a bit later or you could just shade it in with your pencil. It's up to you. And that's it. I think we're ready to go. So let's not waste any more time. Let's start drawing. Now we are going to start right towards the top of our page. I want you to leave about three or four centimetres gap from the top of your piece of paper. And I want you to draw a horizontal line. Like that, with two slightly turned down bits at each end. Okay? So a nice, easy start for Clive the Polar Bear. Okay, now... From this right hand end, I want you just to go down a little bit diagonally, sort of a diagonal straight line, about a centimetre long, like that. Let's do exactly the same on the other side, but like a mirror image. There we go. So we've drawn a kind of little bridge shape. Then from this right hand end, I want you to curve around nice and smoothly and head diagonally down this way. And we're going to stop just before we get to the midway point. Okay, so about there. Let's do exactly the same on this side. We're going to curve around and we're going to head in there. Like that. We're going to leave a little gap in between the two curved lines. And then we're going to join them up. We're going to join them up in a sort of horizontal line like that. So we've drawn a very simple little shape. Okay. Now this is going to be Clive's head, believe it or not. Polar bears are very big creatures. I'm sure you know this. And they've got very small heads right at the top of these huge bodies. And so whenever we're drawing characters like this or cartoon characters, I always slightly exaggerate these sorts of things. That's why the head's so small. But let's give our polar bear a nose. The nose is very easy. We're just gonna draw quite a small black rectangle towards the bottom of the head shape like that. That we're gonna color in. And that's gonna be our polar bear's nose, okay? From each end of the nose, I want you to draw a very thin vertical line that just goes up towards the top of the head. And that just starts to give the head a little bit of structure, okay? And then either side of that line, we just do a little tiny black dot. And look, Clive the polar bear is suddenly awake. And that looks quite polar bearish already, I would say. It helps when you draw their little ears on. So we're gonna do the ears just coming out quite small ears, coming out at an angle on each side of the head like that, so a sort of little curvy rectangle like that, and you can do a little sort of lining bit inside each ear. You can maybe make it a bit zigzaggy to suggest furriness, like that. And there we go, there's our polar bear's head. Nice and easy start, right? 
Okay, let's start to draw the body now of our polar bear. Now what we're gonna do, the body is gonna come down. Imagine this side of the head, imagine that line just continues on. Okay, so we're gonna keep coming down at that angle like that. I might make it a little bit furry right at the top. Just again, as I said, to suggest the fur. But then what we need to do, we need to sort of curve outwards because they've got lovely big shoulders, po polar bears. And then we're gonna curve back round and down until we're going pretty much vertically. And again, as we get to the bottom here, I just want you to add little tiny zigzaggy bits, again, just to suggest the fur. And then we're gonna stop a centimeter or so from the bottom of our page, like that. Let's do the same on this side. Whenever I'm doing a drawing like this, when it's an animal from straight on, they're usually quite symmetrical. So I try to do each side at the same time, if you see what I mean. So this time we're gonna come down here. We might do it a slightly different angle. But we're going to come down like that again some little zigzaggy bits right at the top we'll come out a little bit to the side like that and then again we curve back around curve back in and then right towards the bottom just a little bit of zigzag furriness and then we stop level with the line we've drawn on that side okay let's start from let's go from this side this time so we're going to come around horizontally slightly curved actually like that, about a centimeter, a centimeter and a half, something like that, okay? And exactly the same on this side. We're gonna come in and just curve around there. And these are gonna be the bottom of our polar bear, Clive the Concierge's feet. Then let's just go up a centimeter or so on each side with a little line like that. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you. You're able to keep up. And then we're gonna join this join this, these two legs across the middle. We might add a little bit of zigzaggy fur in the middle, but we're basically gonna do a straightish line to join them up. And that's essentially gonna be our polar bear's silhouette. Okay, where are Clive's arms, I hear you ask? Well, we're gonna do his arms. He's gonna be sort of holding something in front of him, okay? So we are gonna draw his arms coming down here, so the shoulder area is sort of there. They're quite low down on the body, these arms. And we are gonna draw the arms coming down. So we're gonna draw almost a vertical line, a very slight angle, coming down there. Then we're gonna curve around about here, like that. Let's make it a little bit furry at the end. But the arms are quite big and thick, kind of powerful arms. It's gonna come down a bit like that, okay? And then we're gonna do the same on this side here. Coming in there towards the middle. A little bit of furriness on the end of that arm. And then just coming in like that. So do you see what I mean? There are polar bear's arms coming in. Now polar bears have got quite big claws, so we're just gonna add four little kind of pointy bits at the end of each arm, like that, for our polar bear claws. One, two, three, four. There we go. So that is basically the polar bear. Oh, let's add some claws on his feet too. Why not? Just add three little ones on each one. I'm gonna do them slightly pointing inwards. That's how Clive stands. There we go. And that is Clive the polar bear, basically. So if we were just drawing Clive in his natural habitat and not in the 100 story hotel, I might stop there and do a bit of coloring. But because he works as a concierge in this hotel, he's gotta wear the hotel uniform. Now, when you visit the hotel, you'll see lots of animals wearing the hotel uniform. And they're mainly the animals from my story, Blown Away, my book Blown Away. So we've got Clive here, who's in Blown Away. We've got the penguins, penguins, Blue, Flo, and Jeff. You'll see them wearing the little hotel uniforms as well. They act as, they're sort of like bellboys and they're sort of helpers in the hotel. And we've got Wilbur the Seal too, who is working somewhere in the hotel. I wonder if you can find him. So let's draw Clive's uniform. We're gonna start with his hat. Clive is the concierge. He's sort of the most important staff member at the whole hotel, so he gets to wear a lovely top hat because he's so important. This is how we do the top hat. We're gonna draw a curved line here that just kind of brushes the top of his head in the middle, like that, and extends off to each side. And that is gonna be the brim of his bowler hat. Not bowler hat, top hat. Sorry, I didn't mean bowler hat. Made a mistake, you see. <laughs> then let's draw two vertical lines coming out of that brim and heading towards the top of our page like that join it up at the top and that is going to be Clive's top hat if I say bowler hat again by mistake I do apologize but you know what I mean 
There we go. We'll color that in a little bit later on. But that's the first part of his uniform. Okay, the second part, he wears a little jacket. So what we're going to do on each arm, we're just going to draw a line that comes across like that to show the ends of the sleeves of the jacket. Like that. And then just coming out from about a centimeter below the top of this arm on the right hand side here, I just want you to draw a curvy line that goes up his body and then just sort of in a slight S shape disappears up there. And that's going to be one side of his jacket. Let's do the same on this side. We're going to come up, go around here and disappear over his shoulder there. So we're starting to describe this jacket here on the page. Now I want you to imagine that jacket comes down behind the arm and goes off to the side out here. So we're going to do a little line coming off there. We'll do a little one coming off that side too. But this jacket is very posh and it has a nice sort of tail. So I'm going to extend the jacket down here. It's going to flare out very slightly behind our polar bear and then disappear behind him. And we're going to do exactly the same on this side. So it comes down and then disappears behind him there. And that is going to be the polar bear's jacket, suit jacket, so with a long tail at the back. It will make more sense if we draw some collars on. So let's just draw a line coming down there, a centimetre or so, that then disappears again over the shoulder. Same over this side, centimetre or so line in there. And then we're going to come around and disappear behind the shoulder. We'll add a few buttons, circles, one, two, three, and we'll put one in just behind there, four. We'll do the same on this side, one, two, three, and then one in behind there, like that. And then, crucially, we're just going to add little lines like that that go to the edge of our jacket, like that cover all these in a bit later and then do you know what I'm going to add one more thin line that follows that first one all the way up like that we'll give that will make sense when we come to coloring it in and we'll do the same down here okay because we're going to add a little bit of blue in there when I color it okay that's the jacket pretty much sorted in fact let's add some stripes here on the sleeves we're going to add one stripe like that towards the end and we'll put another one in so two stripes on each the end of each sleeve to make his uniform look particularly smart one two one two there we go let's give him a little waistcoat underneath this jacket now this is quite easy from about here so just above the buttons we're going to draw a little v shape so the points right in the middle of the two sides of the jacket like that from the bottom of that V we're going to head vertically down our polar bear's body to about there just below the bottom of the buttons then we're going to add like an upside down V shape like that and two little lines and that's going to be our concierge's waistcoat let's give some more buttons to the waistcoat here how many should we do let's do five one two three four five little buttons there we go a lovely waistcoat and to top off this little outfit we're going to give him a nice bow tie up here now weirdly I haven't drawn him wearing a shirt I don't know why I don't know why I did that but I didn't uh, so here we're just going to do a circle right in the middle of his sort of neck and coming off each side sort of triangle bits and that's going to be Clive's bow tie tell you what let's add some stripes to these collars as well do one there like that and should we do another one like we did on the cuffs like so what a smart uniform this is and hopefully when you find Clive inside the exhibition you will see that he is wearing this uniform and hopefully he looks lovely and smart inside the exhibition too Hopefully he's not having a scruffy day. That wouldn't do, would it, for a concierge to be scruffy. Okay, the very last thing is Clive's cane. He holds a rather lovely cane. Again, I think this is because he's so important, he gets a posh cane. So what we're going to do, I want you to draw a straight line that sort of goes behind both of these paws and comes out the side of his body like that. This end's going to be quite 
small because it sort of goes to a point at the end like that it goes out to the side like that okay and then I want you just to color that in so this is going to now look like he's holding that lovely cane like so let's give it a nice embellished end we'll do a little sort of round ended rectangle there and a little circle on the end which I might add one of my favorite things a little swirl and there we go there is Clive's cane so that is the completed outline do you know what I'm going to do first I'm just going to color that bow tie in like that there we go that's better isn't it so there's the finished outline for Clive the polar bear I am now going to color my Clive in I'm going to go into super speed mode to color Clive in now I don't think you are going to be able to go into super speed mode there so you might want to just finish now maybe do a little bit of shading while I'm coloring this in for 20 or 30 seconds but you can always take your drawing home and finish coloring it there but I really would like to see your drawing so don't forget to take a picture and maybe post it on social media using the draw with Rob hashtag more of that later on though so I'm going into super speed mode to color my Clive in I will see you back here in about 20 seconds or so are you ready here we go three two one let's go Okay, there we go. There is our finished drawing of Clive the Concierge. Final thing, very, very important. I want you to sign your drawing so that everybody knows who has created this wonderful work of art. There we go. There's my signature at the bottom. And there's Clive the Concierge. Doesn't he look smart? Very willing to help. He can't wait to help you when you go inside the hotel. So do find him ask him any questions you like I'm not guaranteeing he'll have the answers for you <laughs> but it's worth asking and he told me earlier that he really really hopes you enjoy your visit here uh, to the 100 story hotel at discover children's story center today I really hope you've enjoyed drawing Clive with me as I mentioned earlier do post your pictures on social media get somebody to take a picture of your drawings post them on social media and use this hashtag here draw with Rob and if you tag me and discover children's story center on social media we would love to see all of your drawings i hope you've enjoyed this i've certainly enjoyed showing you how to draw clive and i will be back very soon with another episode of draw with rob <laughs>